What if we could harness the power of lightning to create energy? And what if, in the process, we could produce cleaner energy while reducing greenhouse gas emissions and acid rain? What if we could use coal or even household garbage to fuel this process? We can. And this process is called plasma gasification. It's the next generation of a process that has been around for over 50 years. So, what is gasification? A basic law of physics states that matter cannot be created nor destroyed. And that is the principle behind gasification. Gasification converts low-quality carbon-containing feedstocks such as coal, oil sands, or even municipal waste into more valuable outputs. The process begins with cheap and abundant feedstocks that are put into a gasifier under high temperature and or pressure. Gasification then vaporizes the complex molecules of the feedstock into component parts such as hydrogen and carbon monoxide. The vaporized stream of elements is called synthesis gas or syngas. The syngas is then cleaned up by removing the environmentally destructive elements like sulfur oxides and nitrous oxides that cause acid rain. The carbon dioxide can also be easily captured to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. With further processing, the syngas reforms into a variety of valuable commodities such as hydrogen, diesel fuel, or gasoline. The syngas can also be used directly as fuel to produce heat, steam, or electricity. Gasification is the cleanest, most efficient process available to convert low-quality feedstocks into valuable outputs. Gasification is a process with a long and proven history. South African energy giant Sasol started using coal gasification in the 1950s, having a limited domestic supply of oil and natural gas. And since the 1980s, the company has produced more than 700 million barrels of synthetic fuels. Today, hundreds of thousands of barrels of gasoline and diesel fuel are produced economically through gasification. Gasification projects are operating or being planned in every corner of the world. Countries with coal reserves projected to last hundreds of years, particularly in the United States and China, are increasing their energy self-sufficiency through gasification. Interest in gasification is growing worldwide. So why now? One reason is the high cost of energy. Natural gas and crude oil prices have been increasing for years and are in a constant state of flux. As a consumer, you see this at the gas pump and when you get your monthly electricity and heating bill. Now imagine industrial plants that use many times the magnitude of energy and how it affects them. As conventional energy companies struggle to replace oil and natural gas reserves, gasification will become a necessary part of providing the energy we use every time we turn on a light switch, heat our home, or drive the kids to soccer practice. Today, countries are looking to reduce dependency on imported oil and energy from politically sensitive regions. Gasification uses cheap and abundant feedstocks. Coal is the most abundant energy source on Earth and is relatively cheap to produce while household and industrial wastes are produced every day. By using feedstocks that are readily available worldwide, gasification enhances energy self-sufficiency. Gasification is a timely solution to our growing waste management problem. In Ontario, landfills are near capacity with about 33% of the province's waste being exported to the U.S. But by 2010, the U.S. border is expected to close to these waste exports. What then? Clearly, gasification provides a timely solution, and one with a much smaller environmental footprint than landfills or incineration. Why now? Because gasification is a secure, efficient, and environmentally responsible solution to provide the energy we all use every day. Although gasification has been around for many years, plasma gasification is the next generation of the technology. Standard gasifiers operate at temperatures up to 1600 degrees Celsius, whereas the plasma gasification process uses electricity and gas flow to create plasma, the fourth state of matter, with temperatures over 5500 degrees Celsius, exceeding temperatures at the surface of the sun. Common examples of plasma are lightning bolts, the fluorescent properties of light bulbs, and the spark of a spark plug. 
With these higher temperatures, we see better energy efficiency and better environmental performance. More than 40 years ago, Westinghouse Corporation and NASA together developed a plasma gasification technology. NASA used the technology in the Apollo space program to simulate space vehicle re-entry conditions of over 5500 degrees Celsius. Since then, this technology has been used commercially to liquefy metals, apply diamond coatings, and convert household waste into energy. Today, the Westinghouse plasma technology is a robust and versatile gasification solution that leads the market in providing clean energy. Recently, the environment has emerged as the number one concern in public opinion polls. Often referred to as clean coal technology, gasification has been widely touted as an environmentally responsible energy solution. The Canadian and United States governments are both strong proponents for gasification and have developed various incentives, including tax incentives, government-backed debt, and other measures to encourage growth of gasification. We all share in the responsibility to maintain and preserve the environment in light of global warming, acid rain, and other environmental issues we currently face. Gasification is an environmentally responsible solution which in many applications reduces greenhouse gas emissions and elements that cause acid rain. So what's next? We think that conditions are ideal for new solutions to growing problems. And we believe that plasma gasification technology will be an important part of powering a clean future. Who are we? Alter Energy providing efficient and clean alternative energy solutions.